You guys absolutely blew up my last video where I talked about and broke down Google's brand new restrictions that are gonna block almost all third party side loading, yes, from all your favorite apps. So I wanted to kind of break through some of the misinformation and create one video where we explain how it's gonna happen, when it's gonna happen, and what we know so far. Of course, also talk about some of the devices that are for sure gonna be affected and some of the ones that will probably remain safe. And at the end of this video, we have something special where I'm gonna go through some of the comments and answer all of your questions and concerns around this topic. And if you want me to do that more in the future, comment down below and maybe you'll be lucky enough to be featured in the video. And if you don't know, I go by UG Tech and I try to help people like you save money on streaming services and of course learn how to optimize their various devices, especially around topics like this. So if you wanna support the channel, hit the subscribe button right down below or go give me a follow at Upgrade Guy Tech on Instagram. Let's get it. Let's start this video by talking about which devices are going to be affected. So to do this, we're on Amazon and I'm just gonna go over some of the most popular devices and talk about if it's gonna be affected by this. Now, one of the most biggest pieces of misinformation is Fire TV devices. Now, Amazon has their own thing going on with Vega OS, which could affect them in a different way. But if you don't know, yeah, technically Fire TV OS is Android TV OS. So is this going to be affected by these changes? And the answer to that is no, not at all. These are not Android certified devices. And that's what you have to look out for is whether they are Android TV certified. And this of course is the same for the Roku Ultra, which is their own operating system and you already can't load them. So yeah, don't worry about Roku either. Now here is one that a lot of people are questioning. Okay, Android TV boxes. Now these things were popular around five to 10 years ago. They still are, but now they're like not as popular. Um, so these are any generic Android TV box. And if you know, these guys actually don't run official versions of Android. Typically it's like an Android OS rip, like a mobile OS almost. And so these devices will not be affected. No, these will have zero effect by this change. And 99.9% .9 you'll be able to still sideload these with no issues whatsoever. Now we get into some more brand name devices like the TiVo Stream 4K. Now this is a popular streaming device and this does run Android TV and it is Android TV certified, which is actually a big selling point for devices like this. And this device will be affected, the Nvidia Shield could be affected. It is Android TV, both that and the pro version. One brand a lot of people don't realize will be affected are Mi Cool Boxes. These are official Android TV certified, like this one right here, the KM9 Pro or the KM2. They're Android TV certified, and yeah, they probably will be affected as well. As long as this is a retroactive update, and not something that is only on newer versions of Android. So now we have a nice clean list of updated information from AFTV News. I'm gonna link the article right down below. Now these changes are set to take place starting in September, 2026, so that's next year, in only a few different countries. This includes Brazil, Indonesia, Singapore, and Thailand. And if you don't know, in my first video, I kind of mentioned that it's interesting that it's like Indonesia and Singapore because these are kind of pirate hubs. Now, I, I do think that's a bit of a coincidence, but that is where a lot of these IPTV networks are run from. So I, I thought that was interesting, but it's also just like they start with non-Western countries. That's typically how it works a lot of the time. Now, we already talked about it being on certified devices. Those were, again, the NVIDIA Shield, Google TV certified, but not on Fire TV. But one thing we have not talked about is whether you're going to be able to bypass the sideloading restrictions. So if you don't know how it's gonna work is developers will now have to officially sign up and basically confirm their identity. So it's gonna be a bit of a rigorous process, not rigorous, but you probably have to upload like a passport and documents like that. And then also upload basically an empty package of your app. You don't actually have to upload the app itself, which is interesting. Um, so this way it links the app that people are installing to you, the developer. So any apps you have are gonna be linked directly to you making your information pretty public. Um, so this is going to, I guess, obviously not completely ruin sideloading, but 
it's going to restrict it in the way that our developer is going to want all their information completely public on every project they create. They can no longer stay anonymous behind the scenes. And so once they're registered, then I guess you'll be able to install the app. But it's but it's interesting because Kodi, of course, is an official app in the App Store, but also there's versions you can install online as well. Like whether you want an older version or something like that, will you still be able to install those? The answer is apparently yes, because those will still be registered to the Kodi developers. And even though they're past versions or versions you're finding online, you should still be able to install them, I think, as long as they're official version. Now, there's not a whole lot of news on rooted devices, but one area that I am curious in is sideloading Google Play Store apps. So if you don't know, there are some official apps, like for instance, in Canada, you know, I can't install BBC iPlayer because it's not in my, my app store, it's a UK app. So I go and find an APK copy online. Now the question is, am I still gonna be able to install that APK copy because the developer, yes, has it in the Google Play Store, but are they registered in their developer system for third party installing and have they registered this? And that's where things get a little bit complicated. I'm not completely sure on that. And that would become a problem because sometimes some devices just don't have the official version in their app store. So you have to go online, you have to find an APK. And so it's interesting whether they're gonna be restricting this as well. So I'm excited to see where that goes. So yeah, there are a lot of unknowns still, and we're gonna be talking about this soon, but let's get to some of my favorite comments from the other video. Some of these comments are probably a little ridiculous, but we're gonna read through them anyways. So from Angry Rock said, I guess we're finally about to see the year of Linux. And no, I, I don't really think so. There's still better options to install third-party apps. And this again is happening in 2026, 2027, maybe in North America. So uh, not a huge worry right now. Crystallize EX said, please don't allow this boycott. Uh, and underneath, they said, I wonder if we can do something about this. How dude, resistance is futile. And yeah, I'm sorry to say it guys. And you guys are gonna say, oh, you, you're on Google's side. Fuck Google. No, the fact is that you can't really boycott Google. I'm sorry, some companies are just too big to fail. And to be honest, the community that cares about this is what, maybe 500,000 at most, maybe a million. Not, not enough people care and Google doesn't care. They have so much money. So that's just the truth. So Android is basically an Apple phone now. And that is part of it is yes, they are getting more restrictions where Apple actually has been forced in some ways to have less restrictions from the EU because of their monopolistic natures. They're basically a monopoly but so is Google. So it's it's kind of weird how they're flipping roles here a little bit. Android is still a very open system, but again, this does restrict it quite a bit. So we'll see what happens in the, the next little bit. Nunya Biz 50 said, LOL, they utterly destroyed their market. No, they didn't. I'm sorry, they, they just didn't. It's just not, it's not that big of a community. Uh, you know, I wish I could say they did, but I don't think enough people care. That's just the truth. Yes, this is an interesting comment from Bezelurk759, sure. This isn't just TVs, it's an it's all Android devices, including phones. Yes, actually, they're starting on Android phones, and then the assumption is it will also come to Android TV devices. Um, so Android phones is the first step. So if you have an Android phone, Samsung, anything like that, Samsung's Android, right, isn't it? Buy China-made Android boxes. Listen, even the official Android TV boxes are China-made just so everybody's aware, but but that's besides the point. Uh, yes, these third-party boxes, the cheaper ones, will most likely work. Um, of course, some of them are sketchy. Remember there was that Linus Tech Tip video years back that kind of exposed like all the virus and spamware that they had on them. So that's not, you know, I don't know. I don't like the generic Android boxes. I feel like there's always an official version. <laughs> Mickey NYC said, I can't imagine how many YouTubers will not be needed. Listen, as long as there's something to talk about, I will always have a job. But yeah, yeah, sure. That's that's true. <laughs> and then this comment, imagine the number of VPN commercials we will not need to watch. Talking about a VPN, if you look down below in the link in this video, you can get over 80% off on IP Vanish. And if you like what I do here on UG Tech and you wanna support the channel, the best way of doing that is, once this loads, 
purchasing IP Vanish with my link where you get 83% off and up to 30 days free with a money back guarantee. How did that do? How was that for an ad? Not bad. I think it was pretty good. So this person said, Mark Sanders, what about the apps we already have? Cody Downloader. Now, apps that are already on the device that aren't verified, I'm assuming will probably stop working. You'll get a blocked message a lot like they do right now. Um, but Cody and Downloader are official apps. Although, depending on how restrictive this is, it will make Downloader a ton less useful, if we're being honest. So that could be a, a very huge decrease in business for Downloader. So thank you guys for checking out today's video. I hope I answered all your questions. If there's any I missed, I can always do one more update video. So let me know down below in the comments. Again, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.